Okay, now we're at Dota, guys. I'm sorry. I had to read the sign first. <clears throat> Lloyd, I guess there's a type of hot spring that appears on the yeah, yeah, I can't speak because I'm stupid. Yeah, I, I knew that. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that. Hmm. What is it chosen? That sign over on that lookout platform. What about the sign? It looks kind of familiar. Maybe it's just my imagination. Hmm. Maybe you should check that sign out. I got stuck. Hey, look. Look over there. You can see the statue up there. Anyway, let's go check out that sign. Oh. Okay, they're gonna make me get the statue first. Uh, sorry, my stomach's a little woozy right now, so I'm like kinda bad on the commentary. <laughs> okay, so we get 30 seconds in, I think, or whatever. Uh, so we have to jump over with um, Genus's icicles to get to the statue. Okay, this is just a little mini game, so let's do it. Uh, I smell, so don't make any mistakes, okay? Good luck, Lloyd. So all I have to do is not mess up right. Leave it to me. Okay, here we go. Up. Oh, shit. Messed up. And we get there. Goal. You're amazing, Lloyd. I knew we could count on you, even though you can't explain how you got back to us. Okay, then. Let's go back to that old man. Well, that's one thing we need to do here for that thing, but it's kind of optional. What isn't optional is this. Hey, isn't this a whatchamacallit stone? An oracle stone. That must be why it looks familiar, because I can see through signs. So this is the seal of water. Aw, oh, that sucks. I didn't even need to get that spiritual statue. Cheer up, Lloyd. Just think of it as not giving you the opportunity to have fun riding in the wash tubs. Yeah, I guess, but... Lloyd, let's hurry on inside. Come on, Colette. Okay, then. I'll try putting my hand on the stone. Here we go. Rock explodes. <laughs> Oh, look who it is. Noish, protect us! Good dog. <laughs> Excellent, now let us begin the excavation at once. We're not here to excavate anything. Good job, Noish, you did something right for once. Without whining. Corinne! <clears throat> I'll get you next time for sure! Oh! Why is this weird animal blocked away? You could go around, there's another staircase on the other side, you know. But, you're pretty stupid. Oh, I almost said her name. <laughs> Oh, wait, did she say her name already? I think she did. Sheena. Sheena Fujibayashi. It looks like that girl didn't make it inside. What girl? The, the assassin. The one after the chosen. <clears throat> she followed us? You didn't notice? I, I, I was busy thinking and stuff. <laughs> Never let your guard down. Ever! Assuming you want to survive. Oh yes, of course, you're so perfect, you'd never screw up, because you're so fabulous. No, no, not going to do that. <laughs> Even I make mistakes, I made a terrible one. What? Nothing, I shouldn't have said that, forgive me. Forgive you? What? You don't make any sense sometimes. Okay, well we're in the water place for our next oracle stone thingy. <gasps> Do 
just stretching, blah. That's how I stretch, I make weird noises. I just stretch my body. <clears throat> Lloyd was... Jesus, it's okay. I don't like to admit it, but Je Kratos is right. <sighs> I won't forget what I left back there. I won't forget that marble and the people in the village lost their lives. Yes, that's right. Power is more than just your physical strength. The strength to acknowledge your crimes, the strength to remember them, you must have them as well. Okay, well, we got some new enemies in here. I guess I'll fight all in all while I'm here. Oh, they're all starfish, and they punch you. Insert obvious Captain Falcon reference here. Dead. <clears throat> it's kind of hard to come up with commentary while fighting because it's just the same fights over and over. I'm gonna skip you because I'm badass. I'm gonna try and skip you, but I doubt it's gonna work out. Oh, it did work out. Uh, and I couldn't skip you. Don't you guys hold up? Yeah, lightning. Too bad we don't have any lightning shit. That's not gonna help. Oh, maybe it did. Oh, wow, it did. Okay. Good job, genius. Uh, whoever kills the enemy, the last enemy, whoever hits, makes the final hit, they get the, the ending stuff. Like, they get to talk at the ending of the fight. So, I think that was a light bottle, but I didn't see. Actually, damn it. Water comes out of the sorcerer's ring, but though the geyser is plentiful source of water, so maybe it's reacted to that. <sighs> With this power, we can supply water even to distant areas, but if all it does is squirt water, that sure seems kind of weak. <clears throat> you don't want to grab this right now, you want to have your regular sorcerer's ring. Uh, saying the spiritual woman the statue is made after. She saved the world, right? That's right. Thanks to spiritual woman, the world was filled with mana and the world and the people were saved. <laughs> and spiritual was guided into heaven. If she already saved the world back then, then why is everyone suffering now? With mana shortages and designs. The world stopped receiving its blessing because the tower of salvation disappeared. That's what I was taught anyway. Hey Lord, are you actually studying? <laughs> Not really, it's been bugging me. <clears throat> I just thought, since it's a tower, someone has to have made it, and someone has to be doing something with it. You know? Maybe angels like Remy are providing us with mana. I see what you mean. That's a fascinating subject. Up until now, we're simply thought of this... Tower of Salvation is nothing more than a symbol of salvation, but in the end, the only way we'll find the answer is to complete the salvation of the world. When you become an angel, I wonder if you'll go to Tower of Salvation too. If that's the case, we should just ask you after you go. I'm looking forward to your stories. Okay, sure. Foreshadowing. <laughs> Okay, well, if you go over here, you can find a secret passage with some chests that contain a white silver and a orange gem. Just gonna throw that in there for now. Uh, there's a memory gem thing down there, but it doesn't really matter. Over here, you have to use your regular sorcerer's ring to have fire. To set torches on fire! No. That's an REC Bailey reference. And now you want to grab the water. Uh, I think you have to go down here first before you do anything. Uh, get out of my way. I think around here is where I started my stream. And I went on for hours and hours and hours. 
So I'm guessing this playthrough is gonna take like 200 episodes or something. You're gonna regret this. Oh, we got new enemies. What are these called? The green roper? Your common rape, tentacle rape enemy. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Gray's a great move. That thing just pounds the shit out of enemies. Get the octopus! What's that thing on his head? Seriously. Like it's a, a helmet or something? Level 30. Epic. Uh, what we want to do is bring this over on this little part right here. I think you can't do this yet, but I'm gonna go try. Don't get too comfortable. No, oh, I want the water. Before he's these things do some major casting. Like they, I think they're doing like an aqua blast or something. So I'm not gonna let them pass. I forgot what the move is actually called, but I know the move in my head, so I will say it that way. <laughs> and we get an aqua ports. Uh, let's see if this works. Nope, it doesn't. Okay, we gotta go back up top, and we and we had to put this down before that. That's why. Um. Thank you. Skip that enemy. I'm probably way over leveled anyway. 